your struggle has the potential to save the world. You have the potential to save the world. Already as you are right now. There is no leveling up needed. I recently had a talk with one of my best friends. That is, with my brother, I can say. He shared some of his struggles with me. And I shared some of my struggles with him. And you know what's interesting? I had no solutions for him. I had no quick fixes or long-term fixes. No 5 or 15 steps that he can do to solve his internal and external struggles. All I could do was listen and relate. And the same went in the opposite direction. I shared my struggles with him and he had no solutions. He couldn't help me fix whatever I'm going through right now. All he could do was listen and relate. And while talking, we we came to a mutual understanding, or let's say uh, it was a reminder that most of the times what you need in life is not someone to give you a solution. You just want to know that you're not alone. What really helped us that day was realizing that our struggles were similar or that some internal doubts because of the struggles that we were going through were similar. And sometimes that's even better than a solution. Because I believe that we as humans, we can go through struggle, through pain, through suffering. Uh, We are much less afraid of struggle and pain and suffering than we are afraid of loneliness, feeling like we are alone in what we are experiencing. No one can understand us. No one can relate with what we are experiencing. So as I said, we came to a mutual understanding that this is it. This is what we need. This is what people need. People need to know that they are not alone. Whether it's your mental health struggle or internal struggle that came as a result of some external factors, some external obstacles in life, some external misfortunes, whatever it is, it all comes back to what's going on in your mind. And it's often difficult to be alone in your mind. So when you understand that there are people going through the same thing, experiencing same uh, feelings, thinking same thoughts that sometimes make you think that something is wrong with you, that you are broken, when you know that there are other people feeling, thinking, experiencing the same things, you understand that you are not alone. And it's like the weight of the world has been lifted of your heart, not just your shoulders, of your heart and your soul. So why I say your struggle and you have the potential to save the world because all that you really need to do is to learn how to express what you're feeling and never stop learning how to express it some people express it through words some people become artists and express it through paintings music uh, through experimental art i know that not all of us here can become artists artists that that will express human struggles in some abstract way but we can all learn to express what we are feeling we can all we don't have to write a great novel but we can learn to have a conversation with another human being we can learn to to express what's on our mind our heart and our soul and why i say that can save the world because if you learn how to express yourself and Most of you listening already know how to do that. If you learn to express what you're feeling and what you're thinking, and if you are open to share that with other humans, little by little you will encounter humans in your life that, that you will save. That encounter, that conversation that you have with them will will make them understand that they are not alone in this world. That this world, after all, is a is not a cold, hostile place. They will understand that there is a place for them in this world. So, why I say if you have the uh, say you have the potential to save the world? If you save one soul, if you save one human being by expressing your struggles and allowing them to know that they are not alone, if you save one soul. It's equal to saving the whole world. Because the weight of one soul 
the weight of one soul is the weight of the whole world. I have truly come to believe that. I didn't always believe this, but through talking with some of you, after all, you don't know, but a lot of you saved me. It's interesting, you know, it's interesting how I receive these messages of that I am providing so much help to you. But if you really look closely at it, and if you look at four years of my online writing, some of the my write, some of my writing pieces that resonated the most with people are those where I did not provide any solution, where I just expressed what it's like to be human. And a lot of you realize that you are not alone in this strange, sometimes uncomfortable experience of being human. So when I helped you the most with, was when I just allowed myself to be human in front of you. So when you, when you write me a message, write me a message expressing your struggle, I'm not happy that you're struggling, but I have to selfishly say that you are helping me. You are helping me. Every time I hear that there are people who are also going through this experience, wondering, thinking deeply and sometimes be, being burdened or even tortured by those thoughts, by those deep thoughts. I understand that I'm not alone. So thank you. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for saving the world. And keep doing that. Keep learning how to express yourself in different ways and allow yourself to express what it's like to be human. Once again, thank you. That's it. Let me know in the comments if this makes any sense to you. Like share, subscribe, most importantly share, hopefully share with some of your friends that would really benefit from this, maybe now they realize that they are not alone, as always, stay strong, love life, and never feel sorry for yourself.